What's up everybody, welcome back. This is the first proper video in this new space and I can say that after a long time I feel really excited about doing some of these videos again on this channel. So, today's topic is something that I was really thinking about while I was designing this place and I want to find the best way to do it and that was recording electric guitar while having the guitars in the control room and the amp in the live room. That was something that I wanted because I thought that it would be better as far as communication with the artist goes and even when I'm recording guitar for myself it would be easier for me to listen to the guitar in the mix while controlling the DAW at the same time. I did my research and what I most commonly found was something like a reamping using a DI and a reamp box in the live room but I want to test something that's coming mostly from the live sound realm and that is using a buffer pedal to drive the signal over the long cable that I have built in the walls between the control room and the live room. So what I want to do is a test for me as well as for you to see if I can record without losing any sound quality while the guitar is in the control room. So the method that I use for this test is this. I recorded the three different guitar parts, one clean straight to the amp, one with light overdrive using the VS Audio straight flash and one with a higher gain using the Bogner Ecstasy Red. I recorded each part straight to the looper which stores the last thing that you played even when you unplug it from the power so that I could use it first as a signal from the control room and then I went in the live room and recorded straight to the amp without anything else between them. Of course when recording from the control room the buffer was always on so let's listen to the examples and hopefully we can come to a conclusion. <laughs> After listening very carefully to each sample on my speakers and on my headphones, I can say that to my ear I really can't see much difference, if any at all. Now I don't know how these audio samples will come through 
when the video is uploaded and YouTube compresses it and all the stuff. But I can say that for my use, it's definitely something that I can use for now. I saw some very, very small differences between the two waveforms of its version and that made me want to check uh, what was different so I flipped the phase in the track that was recording in the live room and that was the result As you can see, something is missing or something is different. I must say that all the settings are exactly the same, nothing changed on the amp, on the gain, on the microphone, no cue is applied or anything like that. So what you just listened is the difference between the two versions. I don't know exactly what that means, maybe something is missing from the version from the control room, I don't know. But I will look further into it. For now. I think it is a solution that uh, gives me the option to do it uh, because, as I said, uh, while listening to them, I couldn't spot uh, such a big difference as the one we heard later. So, I guess that's my test for now. I hope that you found this video helpful. I will for sure revisit uh, this subject because I want to have the best uh, option available for this particular thing that I want to do. Anyway, my name is Dalam, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.